Happy Saturday, everybody. Today is December the 2nd, 2017. And I just wanted to come on for a brief minute and talk about something for today. Um, first, I want to discuss negativity. Um, I, for the last, I thought it was two years, but three years I've been uploading cooking videos. I've gone from a real poor quality camera. I had an iPhone at one time, and now I'm using my Canon HS, I think it's a 190, and also sometimes I use my cell phone, which is, a, which is an Android phone from time to time. But anyway, this particular video was actually a um, no stir root gumbo, and it's a recipe, it's a box recipe that I use, and uh, I follow the instructions and deviated, you know, the way I want it for this video. And so I get a comment this morning. That shit looks nasty. Uh, you should be a seriously, you should be a, ashamed of yourself. And this nasty comment comes from a person who's a coward who doesn't even have a picture on their profile. That's a pet peeve of mine. If you're going to have a nasty disposition and you're going to come on someone's page and be ugly, but don't have a picture, you're a coward. <laughs> you are a coward. First of all, I've never left a negative comment to anybody. It may be a situation where they did something and I knew a better way to do it, but I would always use, I would always compliment them on their way of doing it and then show up, maybe tell them another way that I did things but never negative because nothing happens good when there's negative backwards and forwards. I, I try to remain positive. But anyway, I and I told them I said, first of all, you know, when you want to address me in a negative uh, way you need to first check your spelling and grammar. <laughs> anyway, I don't value the opinion of a ghost. So but on to what I wanted to talk about today. I wanted to talk about for day two of December deliberations is Overcoming obstacles. Um, you know, as sure as you live, you're gonna face hard times, dilemmas, things are gonna happen. We can't control, you know, those things. But what do you do when they come? And uh, first, we tend to want to worry or feel down or whatever. But what I found that works is just start praying. Just pray. Uh, and seek guidance from God. Uh, you don't want to just pick up the phone and start calling everybody and complaining about the situation because that really doesn't help. Sometimes the more you talk about things, the more you give it a pulse. Sometimes, sometimes it's best just to be quiet about it. And some things, you know, that, that you go through, you never want to share with anybody but God. You, you really do. I don't care whether you have a significant other or whoever. Sometimes you just want to give it to God and just leave it there. And, um... I have had to do it myself. And another thing, if you decide to share this information with someone, share with someone you can trust to be confidential if need, if need be. And also you want to go to someone who maybe specialize in the area uh, of the situation that you're dealing with. For instance, if you have a toothache, you don't want to go to a gynecologist. So, you know, consider the source when you're conveying your information to others. Because sometimes, you know what, a listening ear is also, also a spilling mouth. As soon as they hang up with you, they call somebody else and call somebody else. And we all know once a story travels, it, it just loses validity. It, you know, it just, you can, you can tell a story to one person and when they tell it to that third person who has information, it's going to be totally different from what you said. So just be careful sharing everything. Um, like I said in my last video, everybody has a story. I don't know all of your story, you know all of mine, but we can help one another by being positive. Uh, complimenting each other uh, on Facebook every time it's somebody's birthday happy birthday beautiful happy birthday handsome you don't know whose life you can touch just by being kind I remember the story once where um, I had gotten this in an email a little boy was a little high school student had cleared out his desk and he was headed home his locker and he had all of his books and a little guy saw him struggling and he asked to help him. And so he said, yeah, you can help me. And so the guy helped the little guy take the books home. And um, they became friends. And the guy who was taking all the books home was a valedictorian of his class. And uh, he asked the guy who helped him that day to stand up. And he told me, he said, what you didn't know is that day when I had cleaned out my locker, I was going home to kill myself. And because he did that simple act of kindness, that changed that child's entire life. How much better the world would be if we would just quit being so critical of one another? 
Hi, how you doing? Your hair is pretty. I like that dress. Your shoes are beautiful. Or just a smile and uh, have a good day. But we're so quick to be negative. So, but anyway, we're going to do better in 2018, but you know what? We're going to start today. We're going to start today. This 2nd of December, our challenge is for the rest of the day to not make a negative statement. That's how we're going to overcome things, by being positive, just changing and shifting your whole attitude. Um, if you end up spending more time, say, driving in the car. That's more time you can reflect on your life or make decisions, you know. That's why I like being in the kitchen because when I'm in the kitchen, I'm coming up with new ideas about other things. And so what I've done for the month of December, everybody called Vlogmas, um, I've created 31 days of different things, of different a topic a day to discuss. Um, yesterday, we embraced our flaws. Today, we're, th we're uh, finding ways to overcome obstacles. Another thing, too, that helps me is when I'm down is when I can help somebody else. That's why a lot of what I do um, on my job, uh, I advertise jobs and things like that. So in my free time, I may go on the sites where I advertise and locate other jobs for people who may have actually interviewed with me who don't necessarily get hired. But I call those people back and tell them about jobs somewhere else. Uh, you know, it costs you nothing to be kind to people, but it's so rewarding. You get so much more back, I'm telling you. So, um, that that's my passion, helping others in whatever way I can. If it's not finding a job, uh, trying a new dish, or just complimenting them, or letting them know about uh, something good that's happening. It's just like I was in a dentist's office about a month ago, and I sat there with the ladies, and I was telling them about how to coupon. Uh, places you can go and get coupons and the sales they have at Kroger on the, uh, uh, during the week and you know, just things like that. Anything you can do to help somebody, that's if you're down, you know how you can put a smile on your own face? Help somebody else. Alright, that's day two. Um, tomorrow we're going to be talking about um, finding that peace that surpasses all understanding. So that's all for today. I'm going to get up here and get busy doing some other things. But have a good day. God bless you. Happy holidays.